Oh. Hello. <laughs> Good. Good. All right, many of you guys have seen different types of card games. There's many types of card games out there. One of the most popular is poker. But within poker, there's a game that's even more popular. You see it, uh, there's a World Poker Tour online, but the game that they play in there is called uh, Texas Hold'em. And today I'm gonna teach you how to play Texas Hold'em. I'm gonna teach you the basic rules, uh, the types of card hands, and uh, a little bit of basic strategy. So where we're gonna start, the game's gonna start with the dealer. He's gonna shuffle the deck, the player behind him will cut, everyone will ante, or uh, place in a small blind or a big blind. The small blind is just gonna be a minimum amount that half of the big blind and the big blind will be the minimum bet for the table this is to keep players uh, always having money in the pot the pot is the, uh, the, the amount of money that you can win the, what the players are trying to get um, ultimately um, by having their hands um, so the first thing once the dealer deals the card shuffles the cards out everybody has their andy's in everyone will have to call that bet they will receive two cards these two cards are called the whole cards um, these two cards are the only two cards that are unique to the player's hand. They're going to be unique in their, making their best five-card poker hand. Um, after this, a round of betting will ensue. Within a round of betting, a player has a few different options. The first of which is you can check, bet, or raise. Checking would be that you don't fold your cards, you don't discard your cards, you're still in the round, you still have the ability to take the pot, um, but you don't necessarily um, raise the stakes for the pot. Placing a bet would raise the stakes um, and raise the um, raise the pot um, so that it raises the minimum amount that players that the rest of the players at the table have to put into the center. And um, if you choose to do that, you have to call. Calling would mean that you match the player who made the original bet, you match their bet, so that you can continue playing in the round and continue to pursue the pot, which is the ultimate goal. If you don't think your cards are good enough, you can ultimately fold. Folding will discard your cards, uh, you'll be out of the round, and you will forfeit your chances at winning the pot and winning the money. You'll forfeit all money that you've already placed in the pot, and that will go to the winner for that round. What's going to happen after that round of betting is that the dealer is going to burn a card, or discard a card, off of the pile of cards that he has, and then deal three community cards. These three community cards is going to be called the flop, and these cards can be used in every player's hand, um, when making their best five card poker hand. After the dealer places the community, or the flop down, um, the players will have a chance to, once again, another round of betting. They will have the opportunity to check, uh, bet, call, raise, or fold. After that happens, um, another card will be burned by the dealer, and another card will be flipped up on the table. Uh, this card is called a turn. Similar thing happens after that. Everybody bets, the player's still remaining, We'll see another card. Another card is then burned, and then the last card is placed out on the table. This, is, this card is called the river. After this happens, the last round of betting takes place, and the players that are still in the round will flip their cards up, and a winner will take down the pot. The ultimate goal is to take everybody else's chips or money and you're, so that you are the only one remaining in the rounds. In order to win, there's going to be a, a couple different... Uh, card combinations. Uh, notice you have the five community cards and the two cards in your hand, so that's seven cards. But poker is played by making your best five card hand. So what I've done for you guys is I've showed you guys the, the five card poker hands, all of them from lowest to highest. The first one is going to be high card, which you can see here. It's high card ace, there's no pairs, uh, no doubles of anything, no matching suits or straights. It's just a high card ace is what we have here. The next and the next uh, hand in order of that is going to be a pair. Here we have a pair of sixes. Continuing on from there is two pair, which is what you see here. You have two twos and two fives. Moving on from there, you have three of a kind, which is just going to be three of one kind of card. As you see here, the three sevens. Continuing on, we have the straight, which is going to be all the cards consecutively in a row. So here you have eight, nine, ten, jack, and queen. That is a straight to queen. 
After the queen, you have the flush, which is going to be five cards of the same suit. Here you have a flush, a king high flush of spades. Moving on from there, you have a full house, which is basically a combination of three of a kind and a pair. So here we have three fours and two nines. That is a full house. Moving on from here, you have four of a kind, which is just going to be four of the same card. Which can be seen here by the four fours. Next, and moving toward the very end, is we have the straight flush, which is a combination of the straight, as you can see here, ace, two, three, four, five, and a flush, which all being diamonds. So here you have ace to five, straight flush. This next hand is the granddaddy hand of them all. If you have this hand, you will win. Um, it is the highest hand in poker. It's called the royal flush. The royal flush is basically just a straight, uh, straight flush, but it has the highest cards on the table. So to ace, king, queen, jack, and ten. So now that you know the hands of poker, let's talk about a little bit of basic strategy. This is where a lot of the skill comes in. because uh, yeah, Some people think that poker might be a lot of luck. Well, this is where you can show your skill and kind of learn the game a little better. There's going to be several different betting styles that I'll talk about today. There's going to be an aggressive betting style, which is the betting style you're going to want to pursue if you have the highest chip count at the table or a higher chip count and your opponents may not be as strong. You might be able to push them out of hands and get them and just slowly chip away at their hands uh, while maintaining uh, your own hands. The next is going to be conservative. This is the one that you're going to play. Um, when you uh, may ne not necessarily have the largest chip count at the table and you're just kind of uh, betting the minimum amount and staying in whenever you can and only playing hands that you really think you have a shot at winning. Um, the next thing is going to be the bluff is where you may not necessarily have, you may have a very low hand or not even a hand at all, just a high card hand and you place a very large bet to make other players at the table think that you might have a good hand and in turn getting them to fold and allowing yourself to take down the pot. Um, this strategy can, it can be difficult and if somebody calls you out, uh, it can be uh, devastating to your chips. The last one is going to be called value betting and this is when you have a hand that you think that you can definitely win uh, the rounds. So you're going to be able to try to sort of think of what the minimum amount that you're going to need to bet and other people will still stay in the round. You're basically maximizing the pot size so that you can get the most out of what you want, uh, the most out of your hand since you think you have a really good hand. So other than, aside from the actual betting schemes that you have, a lot of poker is just reading other players and kind of watching and playing and uh, watching body tone or uh, body language, tone of their voice when they bet, kind of little quirks that they might use and watching how they previously bet and uh, just being able to try to read them and see if they, if you think that you can beat them. Because if you think you can beat them, you will win the pot and ultimately knock the rest of the players out and win the game. So just like any other game, poker is a game that takes practice and practice makes perfect. So go out there and try to play some poker.